Traditionally, tribes used fire for different reasons. However, somewhere through the introduction of European settlers and the removal from our homelands, elements of our traditional use were abandoned and practices were discontinued. We want to encourage the development of traditional fire use through prescribed burns from you, the homeowner. As we return to respecting fire, we see the benefits it provides. The elders you are about to hear talk about their knowledge and some of the traditional uses of fire among native peoples. To better understand fire adapted communities and modern uses of fire, we begin by looking to our past. The fire was uh, an important aspect of developing our gardens and uh, uh, which was called a community garden. Sometimes these gardens were vast tracts of lands that uh, the uh, tribal town members had to uh, uh, work. They were required to work. And so every, everybody that uh, were participants in these uh, uh, vast uh, projects were uh, also beneficiaries of these, these, uh, these uh, projects. When they burnt around the, the old and our ancient ways on the houses, they burn out to, so that the rodents they would care for their housing area so they didn't have to move so often. And they also burn around other things, uh, bushes that, that able to deer populate to come back so they wouldn't have to go so far to hunt. The uh, way I understood that's what he, uh, they done then. <laughs> our far it sits on the treaty on the mound and on those treaty mounds it's sacred to us that we think about Ofunga. Ofunga gave us these fires. Totko is not what we worship. Our spirituality is where Ofunga lives. Our songs and stuff is sung around the fire to give, to let Idagamazi to know where we at, what he's given us to carry on. That's why it's so important to us in ancient times and today 